Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Comrade Zero Spike. Back again once again and today, people today we're here for Comrade Revice episode 40. And this is a very a very emotional episode. We see fam we see a family being built, we see families being torn down. We see we have memories of a family that's out that's been gone for a while and we get one death in this episode as well and this whole episode was very very emotional uh throughout the episode we do see a lot of emotional we have a lot of emotional beats we see amazing fighting as usual but especially when it come, especially when it came down to our when we had aguilera and we had aguilera hitiko and uh Sakura as he's taking on this small army of uh, as he's taking on this small army of demons together and we did see that uh Akaishi got a demon form it's not a I'm actually very happy about that because you know in the last you know few series and things like that we had the final boss was a common was a just an evil common writer but now we see that Akaishi himself just got a whole demon form and it looks cool it's okay it is decent I mean it's very very powerful of course it's very powerful and it's you know he's speedy he has like all these elemental powers and things like that and they just couldn't take this guy out but throughout we also saw how um Iki has basically decided to go and take on uh basically go off and take on daiji and try his best to try to get through to get through to him and uh we uh, we saw how uh even you know their parents are being very optimistic about things you know kind of just you know being happy when their kids are literally out fighting for their lives no matter what side they're on and we see that uh they just and we see that mama uh she just basically feels like oh they're just they're you guys are gonna work it out because uh you know, Iki and uh, Daiji when they were kids, yeah, they used to argue and things like that, but they would still uh, make amends in the end of it. And I guess that was also, and I guess you know, Iki does ask him, ask her like, did me and did me and Daiji really used to butt heads a lot? He was like, yeah, you know, but like I said before, like y'all will fight each other, but y'all will always get over it eventually. So uh, Daiji basically, I mean, uh, Iki basically tries to enact that. He tries to basically, okay. We used to fight each other a lot when we were kids and we always made up for it. So I guess that I guess we can try to do that same type of thing now. And we saw also saw how uh, how fighting Daiji uh, really messed up Sakura. Uh, we see how uh, messed up she became and things like that of how, you know, things like that. showing that she had to actually fight her big brother. Also see her big brothers actually fighting each other seriously and uh like basically overall just a kind of fight to the death sort of thing um but yeah we see that hana is the one that is a you know she consult like she consoles her basically basically does what she basically does what sakura did for her in the past you know just hugging her you know because sometimes folks just need a hug you know and i like how uh akashi has basically kind of kind of groomed i guess kind of groomed daiji to feel like you know this is what is overall this is what right this is what is this is what's right and we do uh, we did see uh akashi basically says that you know he has some sentiment like he he believed that he couldn't really feel sentiment anymore it's but you know he says that i've lived for a thousand years thousands of years and you know we see that akashi himself even sought out family like he sought out wanting a family and things like that and i guess he's sort of kind of getting that with daiji i guess he's starting to feel he's actually actually starting to feel something for daiji because you know how before he was just used daiji as some sort of the you know just something to use you know or whatever but it feels like you know maybe he's trying to do something different with that we also saw how we also saw everybody talking to Iki when he came up with this plan to basically I'm gonna go fight Daiji and I'm gonna try and get him to come back. So we actually did see our other three riders actually taking on this big army of uh not really a big army but like this small army of uh of a uh, hell gift there I'm not well the hell gift areas weren't there which I was as uh, kind of surprised about but just a, just regular uh gift Arians and some uh you know the the, the uh gift juniors so they actually ended up uh taking all of them out they actually ended up beating all of them and yeah so we did see that you know they did, did you know uh Tosuke, who is a 
fake dad to Hiriko. Um, him and Hiriko kind of get into it about, you know, hey, you shouldn't like gamble with their, you know, gamble with everybody's lives and things like that. And, you know, you shouldn't, you know, just force them to have to fight their brother. And, you know, Tosuke is all about the mission. Like, he's all about the mission. He's not worried. He's not trying to worry about feelings or anything like that. And he basically asks Hiriko, like, this is why. Like, did you not forget? Did you forget, like, why the weekend was even formed in the first place? And, yeah, so uh, we ended up going back to seeing our writers end up taking all of them out. And then that's when, you know, while Iki is fighting, while Iki is fighting uh, Daiji, we see that uh, Veil vale showed up. Veil vale actually showed up and teamed up with Daiji, even though Daiji didn't give a crap about it. And ends up uh, teaming up with Daiji and uh, he actually calls out Vice. And Vice is like, come on, man. I've gotten so much stronger now. I could actually take you out. So, yeah, yeah we do see that. We do see that Vice is, uh, he beats the crap out of Vale. Like, he's not, like, he, it ain't like last time where, you know, they were both in, like, he, they, it wasn't like last time they fought. It's a very, very different thing going on. This is a very different Vice. And he's proven that he's able to take on Vale even by himself. So, we did see that while, you know, Iki is fight Iki and Iki and Vice are fighting Vale and Daiji. We did see what's going on at back at the weekend base where we see that uh they're trying to basically take on Akashi after he's gotten this new demon form. He beats the crap out of everybody. And that's when Hiriko he uh he comes in trying to protect everybody while they end up escaping and he uh Tosuke is there. Tosuke is trying constantly trying to get uh trying to get him to come in and things like that. And uh Hiriko's like, no, I had to protect everyone. And we see that uh he gets his butt whooped by Akashi. I mean be, I mean, of course he is, but he gets his butt whooped by Akashi, and Akashi is just up getting, uh, just about getting ready to finish him off. And we see that as soon as he gets ready, we see that as soon as uh, Akashi gets ready to uh, take him out with the blade, we see that uh, Tosuke comes in, he pushes uh, Hidaku out the way, and he ends up getting um, impaled by the by uh, Akashi's blade, and he screams at Hidaku, telling him to leave, telling him to go. And they get we get like a conversation of uh, so a little bit more sentiment from uh, Akashi. Oh, excuse me. He get we get a little bit more sentiment from Akashi. We see that uh, while he ends up getting impaled, we see that Tosuke ends up uh, dropping a a picture. And this picture is a picture of him and his real family. Uh, he had a wife and a daughter, and uh, we see that Akashi ends up asking him stuff like, "Oh, what happened to them? They died or what? They died?" And he was like, "Yeah, my fa my family died because of a bunch of dead men uh, shenanigans." And I guess that's why he started. He ended up starting, um, ended up starting the uh, the weekend to uh, do his best to you know prevent those things like that. So we see that Tosuke ends up dying. And Akashi's such a prick, but like, he looks at him. He he looks at him, he looks at him while he's laying there. He looks at the picture. and He just throws the picture on his chest, and that was absolutely freaking weird. I mean, like, I, like Akashi's just like, yeah, I'm sitting next to the guy I just killed. It's a beautiful day. Like that's what it really felt like to me when he's sitting down, um, sitting down next to freaking Tosuke's uh, dead body. So. We see the fight, and we see the fight between uh, Daiji and Iki. They're going, they're going back, they're going back and forth, and we we do see that uh, Daiji is trying his best, but now that he we have Guilford Rex, you know, Guilford Rex is way out of Daiji's league, and nothing that Daiji's really doing is, is really affecting him like that, you know, since with the magnet powers and stuff like that. So we uh we hear the conversations between them saying, you know, Daiji's just like we can't defeat Gif like. We can't like it's not is we have to bow down to Giffen, you know. That, and Iki is like, no, we don't have to do that. Like, it, I I would rather, you know. I said, what do you want? You want a, a, a you want a freedomless, you want freedomless peace, or you want peaceful, or you want peaceful chaos? Like, it, it's it was a whole thing trying to hit trying to get Daiji to come back, but Daiji's too far gone. And he doesn't listen. He doesn't, you know, listen to Iki. He tries to blast Iki close range, and that's when Iki like ends up deflecting it. And when he ends up deflecting it, he ends up uh, going out of his rider form. And that's when um, that's when Akashi comes in and he tells him, he's like, "I won't let you lay a finger on him. Not my family." So we see that uh, as 
throughout the process, we do see that Akashi is out here destroying families, but also seeking his own type of family thing. And we basically see that he has that with uh, Daiji, which is pretty weird. I don't think Daiji really cares anything about, really cares about anything that Akashi is basically trying to do. And he did accept, he did also kind of accept help from Vale. But um, yeah, overall, this is a great, this is a great episode. I mean, it was a lot of dread. It was a lot of emotion. And it was just so much going on in this episode. But at the same time, it fit well. And I'm just, I'm probably just going to give this episode an A+. Because it was a pretty pretty good episode. And I see that next episode, we are going to get the... I guess we're going to get the conclusion between Genta and uh, Vale. And also, we see, like, a bunch of mass-produced Comrade of Demons. Well, we see what the suit looks like. And it looks very, yeah, like you can look at this and go, yeah, this is some kind of soldier or foot soldier type thing. Like sometimes when it comes down to foot soldier type warriors, you can tell that these guys are just like, we just here to fight on the front line and stuff like that. But overall, this is a good episode. I very, very, very much enjoyed this. And uh, I'm hoping that we get Daiji back sometime soon. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it seems like we're foreshadowing with something, especially with him. Uh, teaming up with Vale, so hopefully we take out Vale in the next episode or seal him back up. I don't know what we're gonna do with Vale, but you know he's just out here. So, but yeah, overall great episode. Uh, you guys, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of episode forty. A Camarada Revise. Make sure you hit that like button, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all new videos coming out for the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Remember, stay. Kitchened.